But make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, make no mistake, Jesus Christ is never out of control. Never. He is the ultimate authority, and the only reason he was seemingly helpless in this situation was because he was exactly where he wanted to be. He placed himself exactly where he needed to be. Jesus is no victim. He wanted to die. He needed to die so you could have life. Ladies and gentlemen, that's our Jesus. That is our Jesus. It was always his plan to not only be captured and to die a cruel death on the cross but to be the sacrifice for your sin. Everything he did during the Passion Week of, of his last week was strategic and purposeful to get him to the cross. That was his overarching goal. You need rescue from God's wrath because there's hell to pay for your sin. And the Son of God is the only one who has the authority over life and death. He is the only one who can pay for your sin debt. He may have appeared to Pilate and to the Sanhedrin and to the disciples and to the crowd as this helpless little man without any hope. He may have appeared as somebody with zero authority whatsoever. But he has all authority. And we can never forget that. In Romans chapter 14, verses 11 and 12, it says, For it is written, As I live, says the Lord, every knee will bow to me, and every tongue will confess to God. Every knee will bow, folks. Bar none. If you are here today and you do not know Jesus Christ as your Savior, or if you're within the sound of my voice, and you do not know Jesus Christ as Savior, and you are determined to live your own way, one day your knee will bow. It may be broken, but it will bow. Why not bow the knee today? Willingly. Why not bow the knee today asking Christ to forgive you of your sins and to cleanse you of all unrighteousness?